Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Blistech Solutions Tuesday Tech Tips. And in today's tech tip we're going to show you how you can collaborate with people outside of your organisation using uh, Microsoft 365 and, and specifically Teams. So you might have a file that you're working on that you want to share with somebody outside your organization you don't want to add it as an attachment because it's a live document and maybe it's being updated or maybe you want to add some additional controls around that like you want to block them from being able to edit it and download it um, which you can't do if you add things in a, as an attachment or you might be working in somebody with a project and there are lots of different files that you want to be able to work on together so in those two different scenarios you would, would share things in, in different ways and I'm going to show you how. So the first one is if you just want to share an individual file. So within Teams itself, uh, and this, this is the same for SharePoint as well if you're doing this through SharePoint, but in the team you go to your files and you find the file that you want to share with, um, with an individual. So I'm going to go with recordings and in here We've got a, a video, but it could be a Word document, it could be anything. And we're going to click on this icon here to share it with other people. And then the sharing dialog opens, and then we have some options about who we want to share it with. So by default, uh, only people within the organization uh, can, uh, who have a link to it can, can view it. But we want to share this with people outside the organization. So if I click on that, I get some other options. Now, point here, um, I would never share it with anyone because that basically means anyone with the link, it doesn't matter who they are, they can get access to the file. So if somebody forwards that link to somebody else, they, they also have access and there's no tracing where that's gone and you have to basically turn off the link uh, if you have problems with that. Um, and more often than not, and hopefully this is the case uh, in your organization, that's going to be turned off by your admin, so you can't do that. So moving down, specifically we're going to pick options of the people who we choose. So we're going to choose who we share this file with. So tick that one, and then you have the option of whether you block the download or not. So that basically means they can't download it to the computer, which is probably a good thing to do. And if we click apply there, and then we start to type the email address. Um, it can be, you know, anyone, anybody's email. They don't have to have a Microsoft 365 account. Um, and then add them there. We get a warning to say they're outside of the organization. If we click send, the link will be sent to them. They have to verify their email address to prove that it's them. And then they can get access to that file. Um, we can turn this sharing off later if we want to as well. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but you can do it. I'm not going to send that because I've no idea who that is. It's not me. So uh, just come out of there. So that's if you're going to share an individual file. If you want to work on a um, on a project with with a, with a particular uh, group of people, let's say you know, let's say test team is part of a project and we want to invite people outside of our organization to be part of that team you do that in a different way so if we go to the three dots here and then add a member then we can start to add people to our team so this can be people within our organization or outside of our organization so again if i um, put in an email address that's outside of our organization I then get an option to say add matt.test at gmat.com as a guest. And what that does is it creates a guest account in your Microsoft 365 that allows them to connect and be part of that team. And they can you know, view all everything within that team, um, including the files and so on. You can collaborate together and you can move that guest account, remove that guest account later to revoke them access again. I'm not going to click on add this user as a test uh, as a guest because um, I don't know who it is. Um, importantly, if you don't see this option, it basically means you don't have the right privileges to do this. So, if you uh, to be able to do this, you need to be a member of the guest inviter role to be able to invite guests outside of your organisation. So, I hope you found that useful. Um, I'd use this with with caution and make sure that you're only inviting people 
who you trust and also that you're removing that access at a later date when they're no longer required but it's a great way of collaborating with people outside of your organization they don't need to have a microsoft 365 license or even an account to do it um, and it extends your, your team beyond your your business so uh, yeah I'll, uh, i hope you found it useful i will speak to you soon cheers Thank you.